On my channel, you may notice that I have a few different videos that cover Yofukushi no Uta, or Call of the Night in English. I fell in love with this manga about a year ago, and I've been following it ever since. So naturally, I was really excited for the anime, which finally premiered just over a month ago. The anime just wrapped up its sixth episode, which means that the first season is now halfway over. With that being said, I felt like it was a good time to do a short review on the anime so far. Hello everyone, my name is Brent, and this is my review for the first half of the first season of Call of the Night. I guess there's some minor spoilers in this, nothing too crazy, but proceed with caution nonetheless. So I guess we should start with the story and what the first six episodes cover from the manga. The series follows Ko Yamori, a 14-year-old boy who suffers from insomnia and decides to take to the streets at night in order to satiate his boredom. He soon meets Nazuna Nanakuza, a young vampire girl who becomes obsessed with the taste of Ko's blood. Because Ko doesn't like his normal human mundane life, he decides that he wants Nazuna to turn him into a vampire. But there's a catch. Ko must fall in love with Nazuna in order for that to happen. Over the course of the first six episodes, we get to learn more about these main characters, and they primarily focus on the budding relationship between Ko and Nazuna. We are also introduced to Ko's childhood friend, Akira, who also suffers from her own brand of insomnia. The first six episodes cover the first two volumes of the manga, or chapters 1 through 18, and it does a pretty good job. However, the anime did take some minor interesting liberties when it came to the order in which some chapters would appear in certain episodes. For example, at the end of the first episode, Nazuna takes Ko on a flight around the neighborhood when, in the manga, that would have occurred just a little bit further into the story, but not by much. To me, it makes sense that they'd rearrange that in order to have the flying scene in episode 1 because the episode ended with a bang with that particular scene. The biggest change to the order of events was the pool chapter slash scene. This scene was pushed to the end of episode 6 when it should have been at the end of episode 5. This was done in order to start the Cuddle Buddy story early for some reason. Episode 5 should have consisted with chapters 12 through 14. All of these chapters are focused on Ko and Nazuna's friendship, with chapter 14 being the pool chapter. Then, episode 6 should have been chapters 15 through 18, all of which are focused on Nazuna working as a cuddle buddy slash masseuse. Changing things up in this way was an incredibly confusing decision that was made by the writers and animators. This change didn't really add anything to the overall story. If anything, it messed with the pacing. Instead, they decided to chop up the Cuddle Buddy slash Masseuse story into two episodes, which wasn't necessary, and then have episode six end with some random pool scene that was completely unrelated to the main events of the episode. Perhaps I'm being overly critical of this decision, but it was just odd to me. The next thing I want to add to this review is the animation and color palette. I love everything about these two things. The way that Call of the Night is animated and how certain scenes are portrayed makes it look like an indie movie that was shot by an incredible cinematographer. Ko and Nazuna might be the main characters of this story, but the anime truly puts the nighttime at center stage. And of course, to round it all off, is the spectacular neon pink and purples that make up the primary color palette for all of the backdrops and backgrounds. All in all, this was a great first half of the first season for Call of the Night. Despite some bizarre pacing choices, these six episodes did what they were supposed to do, which was to focus on the relationship between Ko and Nazuna. Now we get into the second half of this season, where we're expected to see more of the story unfold and meet new and interesting characters, which I'm really looking forward to. Well, folks, that's it for my review. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy it, please consider liking and subscribing for more videos just like it. In the meantime, take care.